This is a communication question, so let's look at it. The transmission of signal using optic fiber to a great extent has replaced a lot of coaxial. So this is a level up, the latest, I mean, one of the latest cables, optic fiber. Why do we use optic fiber? The advantage is greater bandwidth, very little cross-linking. Now, what does that mean? Suggest an advantage of greater bandwidth. Why is it good? Well, bandwidth, usually we refer to this as a range of frequencies range of frequency of whatever you are transmitting. Lah. So that means you can transmit more information. So maybe you have a carrier. Okay, we think back to AM, FM. If you have a carrier wave, you have some kind of what we call side bands. The bigger that is, the more information you can send. So we're going to write that. So more information, information or more data can be transmitted. Or if you want to stick to the mark scheme language, they will say greater information carrying capacity. Info carrying capacity. Now, if you're curious to know why, the answers are actually quite high level maths. You need to go to university, learn some electronics or power engineering or something like that. But at this level, we just think of this as facts. Okay, so if you talk about this, more info can be carried, transmitted. That's one mark. State what is meant by cross-linking. Well, we said optic has less cross-linking. Why? Because in normal wire pair, if you have one wire, let's say this way, one wire going this way, when there's current flowing through the wire, you have magnetic field, right? Magnetic field. And wouldn't this magnetic field affect the other wire? So if you have a signal going through the first wire, let's say like this, that's going to cause a changing magnetic field in accordance with this and it will affect the other wire. So it's some cross-linking, some cross-talk. Some people call it cross-talk. Cross-talk. And one of the main reasons is the electromagnetic interference. This wire affect this wire. This wire affect this wire. You affect each other, a lot of noise. So we can say that the signal, signal which you are sending is picked up by another wire next to it. Picked up by adjacent 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 means next to each other so adjacent wire also pick up the signal oh, no, that's not good um what else we need to mention here maybe you want to mention like why is a signal picked up maybe you know mention that you see this can okay, we highlight this uh, let's say we're looking at this wire you have a signal why does the signal pass over to the next wire well because power is radiated or energy is radiated so we can say because energy is radiated thanks to the fields, the electromagnetic fields and all that. So it radiates out, you see this dotted line of magnetic field, and it affects all the wires nearby. Okay, here is two marks, you get the B1 here, and another B1 right here. Now on to the calculation. Oh, let's go. Uh, in telecommunication, a signal power is used as reference power. Why do we need a reference power? Hmm. Signal power relative to this reference power, they express in dBr, they have a special name called dBm. Show that a signal power of 13 dBm is equivalent to 20 milliwatts. So the main thing you need to remember about this dB ratio is that you are comparing between two power. So if I want to express my voice in dB, I need to compare it with something ma, noise or the lowest level. Here, 1.0 milliwatt is the reference. So if here is 1.0 milliwatt, my voice is at, I don't know, 3 watt. Wow, that's a lot. Then comparing these two from here increase to here, that can be expressed in dB. Anyway, we need to find uh, signal power, right? Okay, so we stay calm. We start off with the ratio dB equation. So we just write it out. Never mind, just write it out. So ratio, the special ratio in dB is going to be 10 log 10. And what do we do here? We want to compare signal to reference. So signal with respect to a reference power. A very low noise, a very quiet noise or something like that. So now we plug in everything we know. Okay, if we if we are comparing with one milliwatt reference, it's just a special dBm just to let us know that oh you're comparing with the that 
reference power. So 13 dBm. So right here, 13. dBm. Got M means I am comparing signal to that reference power 1.0 times 10 negative 3. I'll just write milli. La. Okay, okay, okay. Keep the same unit. Milli what? Here you need to redo and open up the lock because you want the answer which is stuck inside the lock. You want this answer, right? You want to show that it's 20. So we do divide off. So this will be give, giving me 1.3 equals to log 10. I just write LG because I'm lazy to write. PS over 1.0 milliwatt. Okay, log 10 means if I open up everything, this will be PS over 1.0 milliwatt equals to 10 to the power of 1.3. Now, press calculator correctly, I should get a P signal of 19.95 wow, 19 milliwatt. Is that proven? Yes, it's about 200 milli, uh, 220 milliwatt. Hence proven. Okay, the first mark comes from this equation actually. Oh, so you didn't know where to start, you just write the de decibel ratio equation. Just write it. You might get equation mark. Then if you plug in the correct value in here and finally get your correct signal then you will get an A1 mark for the final one. Remember ah, DB is comparing two things. We need a ground reference point, a very low signal to compare low. Okay here, so this is our reference point. If we use this as our reference point, everything we can express with this special DBM. Okay last part. Signal of output power is transmitted along an optic fiber for an uninterrupted distance 45 km optic fiber got attenuation yes of course how many db it drops each km calculate the output power p whenever i'm doing this question or and i get very confused i will draw a picture to help me think while i am drawing the picture also helps you understand what is happening a little bit better so i am transmitting an input so i'm gonna call this my input 20 milliwatt coming in and it goes along the long wire, 45 km. But this 45 km or is going to experience attenuation of 0 0.18 dB per km. Why do I write attenuation? Already got. Okay, so... Oh! So over 45 km... A 45 km... I can already find how many dB attenuation by multiplying them. So I can do this. 45 km... Multiply, okay, I'm going to find the attenuation in dB. 45 multiplied by 0 0.18 dB per km. You know how I know to do this? Because I see per km. Km and km cancel out. So you're left with dB. So of course, like, this will be dB. 45 times 0 0.18 will give me 8.1 dB. So that means... Over the whole distance, I will lose energy. Yeah. Can I find a nice color for lose energy? I will attenuate lose energy by 8.1 dB. Decrease by 8.1 dB. Go from there to there. Now, we want to find output power. Oh. So here is P. I. P out. What is this? If you're not sure where to start, and you see db, first thing you do, write the equation. Okay, let's write the equation. Ratio in db will be... What's the ratio? Ah? Oh, 10 log 10. P out over P in. Now, P out we know is going to be smaller than P in. Lah, so this will give us a negative value. But CIE is not very uh, strict about the negative signs in this communication chapter, so it's okay if you flip it, P in over P out, do you just get a negative sign? Or no negative sign, actually. Okay, so we're doing a ratio between out and in. So we need to compare two values. Compare this with this unknown value. And what's the dB? Well, we just calculated the attenuation. Attenuation here is actually comparing here to here. How much do you decrease by? That's your ratio already. So if you had included the negative sign, then here will be 8.1 dB, 10 log 10. P out, we don't know. I'm just going to leave it here. P in is 20 milliwatt. 
do the same thing again like just now rearrange get your value so this will be negative 0 0.81 equals to log p out over 20 milliwatt all right so press calculator i will skip doing the steps this time so you will have a value of i guess i'll write it out loud. okay la, 10 about negative 0 0.81 equals to p out over 20 milliwatt so your p out will give you 3.0976 i just write everything milliwatt final answer i'm gonna write to looks like everything's in 2sf right so i can stick to 2sf 3.1 milliwatt see 2sf 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 so i can write 2 to 3 sf is okay this is the final answer and there's one more mark which will come if you sub in the correct values. Now, this time, you must sub in the correct values. Just now, that one, the previous section, if you just write the equation, you get a mark. So they can't give that two times. So first time, okay, now you get the equation. Second time, you must know what to substitute inside here, actually. All right, so that's all for this question, I think. Short and sweet. Hope that's helpful in helping you understand attenuation in communication a little bit better. That's all for this video. I will see you in the next one.